Hi guys, this is Garth Holman from teachersfortomorrow.net and this is part of the engaged, uh, Engaging Students in a Remote Classroom. And today we're going to talk about slides. If you've used PowerPoint, um, slides is very similar, so there's not a big learning curve there. Um, slides is not as pretty maybe as PowerPoint, but slides offer some things that PowerPoint doesn't. So a couple things, just basic presenting of information. It's a great way to guide learning in a remote setting. And I'm going to provide an example through these tutorials of doing like a weekly assignment through slides. Um, it's easily viewable online and it's pretty easy to put together. So one thing you can think about is when you build a slide, um, you're able to put that slideshow in a variety of places, like in a Google Sites, something you can easily do that you can run through and people can read your objectives. Or you can go to a classroom and you can embed Google Sites directly in your classroom and send those to everybody in the class so they have access to that slideshow. So it's easy to push to kids. You can also um, provide it, publish it online and just give a link to it online. So you don't have to use a formal MLS or a website to try to push that. You can send an email link to that published web or published slideshow. So um, let's talk a little bit about how you get into slides. We're trying to get you to get used to going to your Gmail to find all your Google products. Those are in the waffle. You could start from here, but I tend to like to start in my drive. I don't start down here too often. I just go to drive because drive is offering you as soon as you get in an easy way to start a slideshow. So once it loads under new, you have the option of a Google Doc, a Google Sheet, slides. If you go to more, there's more. But we're going to go to a slide and we're going to start one. And I'm just going to call it remote learning up in the right corner or left corner. You have a place for your untitled presentation and you'll call it whatever you choose to call it. In this case, I'm just doing remote learning um, and we'll call it the test. And I'll make this available after the end of the tutorials. So at this point, um, that's about all this slideshow is supposed to do, kind of preview what we're doing, and then we'll get into adding information on the next tutorial.